I've had something eating away at me for over five years now. The US stock market is extremely expensive by historical standards, and yet most people seem unconcerned. Specifically, stock markets have been doing extremely well in the recent past, with few people being aware that they're exposing themselves to risks by staying in. Now, before I go any further, I'm not suggesting doing anything drastic, but I am saying that a critical assessment of your strategic asset allocation is urgently required. Throughout history, the cyclically adjusted price earnings, or CAPE, ratio for the S&P 500 has averaged about 17 times earnings. Over the past half decade, with a slight interruption in 2022, the CAPE has been trading at over twice that multiple. In other words, based on current valuations, if stock prices were to be cut in half with no change in corporate earnings, the stock market would be valued fairly. If earnings were to drop, the average stock price would have to drop by more than 50% to get to the average historical level. It gets worse. The S&P 500 has generated returns of about 10% since inception in 1957, but for the past decade, ended on December 31st, 2024, it realized total returns of about 11.3%. So we've had a decade of above average returns. But here's where it gets really scary. In 2023, the S&P 500 had a return of 26.29%. In 2024, the S&P had a return of 25.02%. Those are fabulous returns, and no reasonable person should expect anything like that to persist. One great maxim of investing is that asset class returns tend to revert to the mean. What goes up must come down, and it works the other way too. What everything has been down, it's got to come up again too. But here's the thing. The people at FP Canada who confer the CFP designation put out assumptions guidelines every year at the end of April. And this year's guidelines say that it's reasonable to expect a return of 6.6% on the S&P 500 over the next decade. Historically speaking, when the CAPE of any major benchmark gets into the mid-30s, the realized return on that asset class over the ensuing decade is usually closer to zero. There's an old saying that markets can remain irrational for longer than you can stay solvent. My view is that the U.S. stock market has been trading at an extremely high level for so long that many people think they're immune to the risks associated with the market's stratospheric valuations. In my view, there are several behavioral explanations for this, which include recency bias, overconfidence, and optimism bias. Many people seem to think that since the market rebounded swiftly and strongly from the COVID crisis in 2020, any downturn they might experience now is likely to be met with a similarly swift and strong uptick. Now, no one knows what the future holds, but it's vital for people to check with their financial advisor to make sure their portfolio, as currently constructed, aligns with their stated risk tolerance and risk capacity. Many people unwittingly take far more risk than they realize and far more risk than they can tolerate, but they tolerate it precisely because they don't realize how risky it is. These high valuations might persist for many years to come, but they could also end any day. 